everybody, and welcome to episode 5 of the Hobo Duel series. I can't believe I made it here. I probably still have zero views, and I'm talking to myself. Hi, me in the future. But today's a special day, a special day of ranting. Because Mr. Biggins is a son of a bitch. Oh, he's not a son of a bitch. His deck is, though. You are about to witness one of the cheapest decks I have ever seen in my entirety of dueling online. This is an Exodia deck. But this Exodia deck is so overpowered that he can win every single time in two turns. I dueled him twice just to see if there was a way for me to win again. But it's, it's, once you get that second turn, he wins pretty much every single time. He's got it so his odds, well, you'll see soon enough. See, I just put down my wave motion cannon, which is a strong card enough. And uh, I don't remember what card I put down face down in the because you weren't looking where you ride. You're so blurred with rage. Here's the first card, Heart of the Underdog. It's essentially every time you draw a normal type monster, you draw again. Which is pretty much, you put your deck with all normal type monsters, and you just flip, and you flip, and you flip, but that's not all. You're going to see in a second, he's got another magic card that goes along with it, that every time he gets a dark type monster, he can throw it away and draw another card. So he just keeps going and going, and once you get two of those cards, it's done. Because they essentially, if your first one's a magic one, and then the next one is a normal type monster, uh, it picks the normal type. And you're pretty much screwed after that. Um, I should, just off the rant wheel, one card that I really, really love and I don't get to use very often. Um, well, I use a lot, but it's it's a total gamble, but it's such a good gamble. It's Needle Wall. Essentially, you roll the dice once per turn. And whatever monster is on that number slot, like, from left, I think it's one, two, three, four, five. If it lands on five and there's a monster on five, that monster's destroyed. If you get a six, you roll again. So it's a great gamble every single time. And also, this guy right here, the, um, the, uh, the mechanical dragon that looks for magical devices. I don't remember his name. I apologize ahead of time for my stupidity and not knowing names of cards, but I ain't gonna lie, folks, it's been a long time since I played Yu-Gi-Oh! But he's a, a great card to just look for some good magic equip cards. Anyways, back to a rant, because I need to rant some more. Um, I don't understand how so many cards can get banned. I've seen hundreds of cards. Witch of Darkness never made sense to me. I think it's Witch of the Darkness, something like that. There, there's a picture of it right there. Never made sense to me why it's banned. But a card like this is totally legal. Exodia, perfectly fine. Because essentially, I'm guessing the creator sweat, there's no way that they're going to find a way to get the Exodia pieces that quick. And then they pull it off. And everyone, see, watch, see? There you go. Draws a card. Now, here's the other one. Hand Destruction. It's a quick spell card, so it's still technically his draw phase. So he throws away two cards. Watch. Bam, bam. You throw away two cards as well, which really doesn't matter when you're doing this duel. I didn't know what was going on at the time. He draws two cards, and then bam, his frickin' magic card uh, goes once again, and either one of those cards are normal. It works. Draws another card, and it just keeps going, and going, and going, until he gets the Exodia pieces. And, let's face facts, that is really dirty. And now, I will admit, I made this deck, personally, just so I could beat some computer players when I'm bored. Reloads another card, you see that? Once you finally pick a magic card, you put those cards back in, and seeing it's a quick spell card, BAM! You got more cards, and if you obviously draw one normal type monster, you get to go again. It's just, it locks you into place, and it's so annoying. And the best way I could drive it was one person said, it's just a waste of time. This guy knows he's going to win. There's no way, there's nothing I can do. He's just wasting your time until he wins. 
You see, that was the second turn. Now there's literally nothing I can do. Nothing. There's not a card in my deck that could stop him. Well, Heavy Storm could. But it's it's so hard to stop six of those cards, including the the Veil of Darkness, I think it was called. Um, it's just so hard to stop it. And then you know he's just going to pick up another card. And half his cards are those uh, defense monsters and high attack monsters. So you're pretty much trapped. Now, I, I try. I try my little heart out to stop Mr. Biggins. But he's just such a big duty head. I you see, I can't. I don't know if I can say he's a douchebag. Because I, I, I don't know if this was his idea. If so, I got to give him. Well, I don't know if I should give him credit. If you're sit, uh, if you're sitting there looking at Yu-Gi-Oh cards, going, "How can I screw people at an alarming rate and waste their time?" Then I've got the idea for you. Anyways, essentially, what I'm saying is this. There has to be. I don't know yet. I ain't gonna lie. I haven't. I don't check the, uh, the uh, what's it called. The circuit of uh, what uh, what's legal and what's not, but I'd imagine that these cards would be illegal. At least the normal type monster. That's ridiculous. The fact that you could keep drawing every time you draw a normal card, it just weeds out your deck so perfectly. And uh, yeah, that's essentially it. I don't know if I'm gonna continue on with this video. As you can tell, it's just gonna be this guy going through his deck and. Just continuously until he gets the card. I think he gets it pretty soon, but I don't know. I I feel through all the cards that have been illegal. I don't understand why Exodia is still in the game. The um ah oh shoot, a Victory Dragon, I think his name was. I'll I'll pop that card up. Was another card that was banned because it had a move that was you win, you just win. Now, there's one card that Nick used that was kind of that uh, win, but I don't remember the effect. But essentially, in 20 turns, you win. And I, that's a little more fair. 20 turns, you got to win. You get a lot more chances with 20 turns. And I'll admit, with a strong defense deck, that can be annoying as hell. But a lot of defense decks can be picked apart if you just if you take one piece of the puzzle out, the puzzle falls apart. With, uh, Messenger of Peace, though. Oh, ooh, that card has made me grumpy when playing against computer players in level, uh, level limit B. See, there he goes. He wins the duel in the cheapest way I have ever seen in Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, here's what I want to ask you in the comments. Is this the cheapest deck there is out there? Is these cards banned, and what do you personally think about this deck do you think hey fair game that's fine he can make the deck if you got it in the game you can make the... it's fine or do you think this should be banned or do you think this guy's an asshole no that's that's not nice that's not nice that's not nice he writes me a nice little note i think somewhere down the line saying thanks for sticking it out buddy and deep down i'm saying in my gut go to hell you bastard um, see, that's the rage I was talking about in the other episodes. Yu-Gi-Oh! just brings out the anger in you. Who knew a game with colorful monsters on, on paper that could just boil your liver? Your liver? I get all my anger through my liver. It's it's my anger sack. Um, anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. I should have more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos out. Um... I'm going to guess once a week, maybe, depending on uh, what else I've got on stock. Um, also, I already said the comment thing, didn't I? Well, then you have nothing else to do, and I demand that you go enjoy a delicious bologna sandwich. And if you don't like bologna, go get a ham. Don't like ham, go get some turkey. Don't like turkey, go get some roast beef. Don't like roast beef? Well, you're out of luck. Go make what you like. Go. There's this girl. Oh, goodness, Ryan. Yeah. Well, we're going there. I went to Subway with this girl. I know this is totally off topic, but the Subway sandwich story's coming out. She ordered a sandwich. Plain bread. Okay, man, this. Plain bread. Olives. Olives. By the handful. Olives. That's it. Olives. Cheese. Close the sandwich. Mine just exploded into a bajillion pieces. I had to pick it off the Subway. I went, Jared! Jared, 
Give me my god dang brain. It's stuck on your baloney. And he went, oh, jeez, take the baloney. Got a free sandwich. But still, blew my freaking mind. I didn't know people loved olives that much. To eat a whole Subway sandwich of olives. Now, I'm not saying anything bad about this girl. But I just can't imagine something eating it. I like cheese. I like bread. I like one olive. I like a olive. Not a... You should have saw it. You know how much they put the lettuce on there? All olives. Like, the, the guy just saw, here's my chance to finally get rid of this shit. Damn it, Ryan. You, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh video, and you you gone on about a Subway sandwich. Well, it was a damn good story. I almost said damn good sandwich. I'm hungry. Anyways, have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good evening. And, of course, have a good duel.